Good morning. Welcome to bestsellingexperts.com. I'd like to welcome this morning Greg Williams. Greg is an expert on negotiating and also on body language. So maybe I should reposition myself a little bit here and look more relaxed. Good morning, Greg. Welcome. Good morning, Bob. Thank you. I heard you speak this this couple of days ago here at the conference and was really impressed not only how you, a lot of people talk about body language, but you connect it with helping make a good deal, make a good association for both sides. You're not, you're not a one-sided person. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that's definitely true. And in any negotiation, one should always be very cognizant of the fact that not only should he or she try to obtain what it is that he or she has set for the goals of the negotiation, but make sure that the other negotiator gets what he or she is after also. If one doesn't take heed to such notice and observation, one could set one's self up for the other negotiator to seek a way to get out of the final agreement. Another one of the one of the ways to rephrase that is if you want to end up with a good deal for yourself, you need to be looking through the other person's eyes as to what would make a good deal for them. Oh, definitely so. Not only that, Bob, in addition, you need to observe their body language as they actually cite what is of importance to them as far as the outcome of the negotiation. Because sometimes a good negotiator will actually ask for substantially more than what he is seeking. And if by chance you say something along the lines of, well, you know you can't get a million dollars out of this deal, and that other negotiator gives you a body language signal, such as pulling back, indicating that, well, yes, Greg, you're right, and I'm actually pulling away from that position. Now, that nonverbal gesture of that individual literally withdrawing from that offer of a million dollars, knowing that he cannot really obtain that, tells you that in his mind, his words may say one thing, but the body language is indicating something other than that. And thus, it would behoove a smart negotiator to pay attention to the body language signals that the other negotiator is sending. It seems to me, if that's the case, that negotiating in person is a whole lot more effective than by letter or email. Well, it is, but at the same time, one can glean insight from the style of, a of the other negotiator and the way in which he communicates with certain words that he uses and exactly the tonality he uses when he's speaking on the phone. For example, when someone is nice and relaxed, they'll have a tone that conveys a nice evenness to the speech patterns that they use. When they start to get a little hyper, they may start to speak a little faster or something of that nature. And then all of a sudden, when they go into reflective mode, they may start to slow down and you can ask a question and you can almost see the wheels turning, although you're speaking to them. In writing, you observe how they communicate with words in a normal environment. And when they start to get tense, you can also observe how they will change their writing style. If all caps are used as an example, mm -hmm. that's usually an indication that someone is screaming or upset or something of that nature. So you can glean all kinds of insight just by paying attention to what is normal for that person and then observing how that person alters that behavior when they're in a different situation. Now, a lot of people that we work with, a lot of authors, a lot of people here at this conference consider themselves experts and yet they may be an expert in their field, but so many of us are not experts in negotiating or not experts in perceiving body language like you are. Well, that's true. And, uh, well, I've studied body language and negotiation tactics and strategies over quite a number of years in order to not only hone my skills, but at the same time be able to help people increase their knowledge about negotiation tactics and strategies, when to use the appropriate strategy in a particular situation, and how to go about reading body language. So you feel like it is something that other people can learn? Oh, without a doubt, they can definitely learn it because a lot of us innately pick up signals, but we don't pay attention to our environment, and thus we allow those signals that we may feel from a kinesthetic perspective to just pass right on through us, as opposed to taking note of what did I just sense? I just saw something, but my mind didn't even really capture it. There's something, Bob, called microexpressions, and there are seven microexpressions that are germane to everyone throughout the world. That's to say, if someone displays a particular microexpression, 
in one particular situation, that'll be the same expression they will use throughout the world, no matter what society. Regardless of culture. Exactly. Regardless of culture, society standing, uh, background, all of that. And thus, again, through micro-expressions, which occur in one twenty-fifth of a second to one second. So they're extremely fleeting. But if you are able to observe the seven universal micro-expressions, fear, anger, disgust, surprise, sadness, happiness, and contempt, you can pick up anybody's demeanor real fast. Uh, that's really interesting to me because I, I've been doing some traveling, international traveling, and I've noticed commonalities in the cultures, but that would be really helpful for me to know because when you're in a different culture and you're uncertain, if you can tell how someone is reacting, then you can you can reassure them, you can react appropriately just by learning that. Now see, you're saying something that's very astute that a lot of people cannot and do not take the time to actually pick up. By you being as astute as your words just conveyed, you're absolutely right. If you can pick up things that are being projected through someone's image, you really can, and I use the word manipulate them in a, in a sincere manner. Manipulation can be looked at from a positive perspective or a negative perspective, but if you can observe exactly how they are reacting to something and you can alter their behavior for the better of their own good in some cases, right. you actually improve the chances of having a negotiation outcome become more successful. That's great because I, you know, I really do believe in in win-win negotiations. But in order to do that, you do have to know what a win is for them. Oh, exactly. You're absolutely right, Bob. And by getting their value system, as it were, you have greater insight into exactly what it is that not only through which lens they see the world, but at the same time, what is of value to them. And if you can hone in on exactly what is important to that person, and then honestly genuinely try to give them what they are seeking from the negotiation, you create a much better environment for the possibility of a win-win negotiation outcome. Okay, now here's the big question. This sounds great. How does a person learn this stuff? Oh my goodness. Well, first of all, they can reach me at Greg Williams at the Master Negotiator.com. They can also go to my website, which is www the master negotiator.com and there are tons of books out there and i would just say start reading and just pay much more attention to your environment and the kinesthetic feelings that you experience from time to time because sometimes we'll say well i had a feeling that something wasn't right that feeling was something that you were attuned to at that particular moment in time had you paid more attention to it you may have understood and been aware of the source of that emotional expression feeling that you actually had, and thus you would have been more attuned to your environment. You know, one way a person can tell that someone is an expert is when they can transfer and convey a lot of knowledge in a short amount of time. You've done an excellent job in doing that. So, thank you very much for thank being you, here today. Uh, well, thank you very, very much.